साईराम एवरी वन एंड वेलकम अगेन टू वैल्यू एजुकेशन क्लास एंड टूडे वी ऑल आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट रिवर गोदावरी आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट बी यू नो लर्न अ लॉट अबाउट रिवर गोदावरी इन जोग्रफी राइट या लुक एट दिस इमेज ब्यूटिफुल जानते the children river godavari is the strongest you know uh, longest river after the ganga and third largest river in india its sources is in trambakeshwar nasik look at this beautiful isn't it the drainage basin of the river is present in in different states of india chatisgarh maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh karnataka and also odisha now let's read more about Godavari River in our chapter twelve. River Godavari. The River Godavari is a river that runs from western India to southern India. It is considered to be one of the biggest. river basins in india it is the second longest river in india it originates in tambrakeshwar in the district of nasik in the state of maharashtra it flows east across the deccan plateau into the bay of bengal godavari is also called as dakshin ganga it means southern ganges as we all know it originates in maharashtra okay but it enters andhra pradesh at basra in Adilabad district and while passing through Telangana region of Andhra Pradesh it touches a small village called Dharmapuri this village has many hindu temples river godavari serves this place as a pilgrimage center basra on the banks of the river godavari has famous temple of goddess saraswati okay yeah let can you see this this is map of india i'll just enlarge a bit okay can you see the river flowing from maharashtra yeah the green line Here it is. I will show you Adilabad. Here it is, where the small village Basra lies. Okay, that is it. Ah, uh, this is Adilabad district, and here is the uh, Basra. Okay, now yes. Okay, this village is uh, you know um, there are many temples over here. Can you see this? It's beautiful. It is mentioned about uh, just now. I read about the temple of Goddess Saraswati over here. Right now, on the banks of the river Basra, beautiful temple you can see over here. 
है दिस इज द आइडल ऑफ गॉडेस सरस्वती ओवर दी यस शॉल वी कंटिन्यू राज मुंद्री इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट सिटी ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर गोदावरी देर इज अ डैम अबाउ राज मुंद्री विच प्रोवाइड्स वॉटर फॉर इरीगेशन इरीगेशन मीन्स फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वॉटर ट्रांसपोर्ट फॉर इरीगेशन बिलो राज मुंद्री द रिवर डिवाइड्स इन टू टू स्ट्रीम दट वाइडन into a large river delta the delta has an extensive navy navigable irrigation canal system the river godavari is sacred to hindus and has several pilgrimage centers on its banks even great personality like baladeva and chaitanya mahaprabhu have bathed in her waters as an act of worship every 12 years pushkakaran fair is held on the banks of this river crores of people have a holy dip in the sacred waters during this time i'll show you some images over here this is the dam we were talking about that this is about the raj mundri city on the banks of the river godavari okay yes he is baladeva towards your left and towards your right is chaitanya mahaprabhu it is said that maha uh, baladeva was a vaishnav acharya and chaitanya mahaprabhu was a 15th century saint he was considered to be avatar of radha and lord krishna by his disciples now this great personalities like baladeva and chaitanya prabhu prabhu have bathed in her waters as an act of worship and i was taught i told you about the fair pushpa karam ya yeah, pushpa karam you yeah, look at this this fair is held on the banks of the river godavari many people come over here during this fair and they take a dip in this holy water let us continue now there is a legend a story which says that sage gautama can you see the image on your monitor he sage gautama who lived on the brahmagiri hills at trambakeshwar he lived with his wife ahalya the rishi kept a stock of rice in a granary once a cow entered his granary and ate up the rice when the rishi tried to wad off stop the cow eating the grain that's the meaning of wad off Okay, what happened was the cow died. Yes, when the rishi tried to wad off the cow with his durba grass, it fell dead. The rishi felt very sad. He wanted to relieve himself of the scene of gavatya. Gavatya means killing of cow. Rishi Gautama worshipped Lord Shiva and prayed 
came to bring down Ganga to purify his hermitage. Hermitage is nothing but ashram. Pleased with Rishi, Lord Shiva appeared at Trambaka. Before that, I'll show you some images over here. Okay, here he's trying to turn aside the cow with the Durbha grass. And what happened? The cow fell dead. He wanted to relieve himself from the sin of Gauhatya. So he started praying Lord Shiva. And then he wanted that Ganga should come down to purify his ashram. Let's continue. Lord Shiva appeared at Trambaka and brought down the river to his hermitage. The river came down as Gautami. Why the river was called Gautami? Because Rishi Gautama brought her to the Brahmagiri Hills. The river is also known as Godavari because Gautami, the river Gautami, she helped Rishi Gautam to relieve his sins. So that's all for today, children. See you all in the next class with a new lesson. Till then, take care. Thank you.